When I started the design on the modern monastery, I wanted to look at historical references. Historical references are broken down into three main parts. Living, working, and worshiping. When looking at these three spaces, they might seem the same in floor plan, but looking at them volumetrically, they behave very differently. Now, when you extrude these forms together, you can see how housing, though it's larger, has a shorter ceiling height, and worshiping, though it's smaller, has a higher ceiling height. Taking this into consideration, when arranging the spaces on the floor plan, I placed larger ceiling heights towards the rear of the site, allowing sunlight to penetrate deeper into the structure. With this organization of spaces completed, we can then surround those spaces in an envelope. The envelope protecting those spaces, we can then remove those spaces, creating a form, and placing in the center of that form a courtyard. This then creates an internal and an external world, the internal world being very protected and private, and the external world being the world in which we live. Taking this internal and external world, it then creates a space between them, and in this space we find the program. The program being separated into 12 parts based on those three main pillars. Now because this is a Christian monastery, I wanted the architecture to symbolize their beliefs. With this in mind, I then created three main divisions between those 12 spaces, representing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I then introduced seven more divisions, representing the seven days of creation, then adding the twelve disciples, the apostles, and the twelve tribes of Israel. With these divisions in place, we can then remove the program and then begin to create spaces. Now the first thing we need to do is to extrude these masses. Extruding these masses then creates space in between these masses. Now these masses may seem very, very monolithic and very large. So we taper those masses, reducing the shadow on the ground plane, creating an immense amount of uplift towards that center courtyard. Now with those masses tapered, we can then depress particular masses depending on their importance. The three tallest and the highest being the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The second tallest being the seven days of creation, and the shortest being the twelve disciples and apostles. Now with those forms in place and organizing the spaces, we can then reintroduce the program. Then extruding that program up depending on ceiling heights and programmatic needs. In doing this, we can then start to make connections, extruding between those masses making those connections. And when all of this is done, the result looking like this.